So to compute the power of meshes, we can just compute the power of eigenvalues. And when the power is smaller than one, it has a similar effect as mesh logarithm to suppress the overcoming feature direction. So we study the disnormalization, the effectiveness of this normalization on following three fine-grained data sets, which are birds and aircraft and cars. Uh, the figure report the accuracy versus the power for power normalization. And the accuracy achieved it, it peaks when the power is equal to 0.5 and which corresponds to the mass square root. And it turns out that it's a fortune because we can uh, approximate the metric square root efficiently and compute uh, the gradient precisely, which I will show you later in the slides. And in the following experiment, uh, I will use metric square root for the power normalization. So this table reported accuracy with different uh, normalization schemes. And we always use the auto normalization on all the models to ensure the feature is robust to the overall scale. So the first row uh, uses the Adam Y square root, which corresponds to the original BCM model and achieves 80% accuracy on first data set. With matching stories and or matching square roots, the model achieve also, also achieves about 80% accuracy. And this shows that these three normalization uh, works equally effective and when they work individually. The last two rows show the result when we combine uh, the special normalization with animalized uh, uh, square root normalization and with mesh square root the result improved by 2 to 4 percent. And this shows that these two kinds of normalization are complementary with each other and they can have added benefit when they work in combinations. However, single value composition is slow because it lack of GPU implementation and also it doesn't have batch mode in, uh, computation which means you have to write a for loop to go over every matrix in your batch. And empirically we found out that computing an SVD on a 512 by 512 matrix takes the same time as the overall evaluation of a BGP16 networks. So it's a bad map. So for a particular choice of matrix square roots, we can approximate the output by Newton method. So the output of matrix square roots uh, satisfies the equation x squared minus a equal to zero, so we can use Newton iteration to do the root finding. One such known iterative uh, iteration is the modified version of Demon B iteration, which gives you the following uh, iterations formula. The YK and ZK converge to the square root of A and inverse square root of A quadratically as shown on the plots. And the good thing is this iteration only involves metric addition and metric multiplication, which are pretty good supported on modern GPU, so it's very fast. So the table reports the, uh, uh, the approximation in terms of the recognition accuracy. Uh, zero iteration corresponding to the original BCM method. And remarkably, with only single uh, iteration, the model improved uh, by 1.8% accuracy. And the model converged pretty quick after five iterations, and it worked as accurate as using the SVD implementation. Moreover, it is five times speed, uh, faster than SVD. And actually, it actually is dependent on your implementation, so we observed that more than 10 times speed on, uh, on our Python implementations. So to fine-tune the network, we have to compute the gradient of loss with respect to A or the matrix A. And in general, it's difficult to compute. The matrix back propagation network proposed in ICT 2015 derived the, uh, the gradient as the equation shown on the screen. It involved computing gradient of single value composition. And the matrix K depends on the difference between two eigenvalues. And when two eigenvalues are close, the k value can go to infinity. So this gradient computation is non numerical stable and potentially have a high error. So for a particular choice on metric square root, we can uh, compute the gradient exactly by solving the following uh, Lyapunov equations. This Lyapunov equation characterizes the relation between the gradient with respect to a and uh, a square root. And it's well studied in mathematics. And solving this equation is numerically more stable because it depends on only the inverse of the sum of two eigenvalues. So the table here reports accuracy before and after fine-tuning. 
by, fi by fine-tuning the mesh square root use uh, solving the optimal equation, we can improve the model by 3 to 7% accuracy. And comparing to the original, uh, the fine-tuned original BCM method, the method, our current work improved by about 2%. And we also try to fine tune the, the mesh square root by mesh back propagation. On birds and car data side, the drop is uh, negligible. However, on aircraft, it dropped by 1.7% accuracy. And this suggests that the numerical instability leads to the error in gradient could potentially lead to the drop in recognition accuracy. We also compare our model with several state of the art methods. The spatial transform network and the cross at our power based model should 84% 84, 84 accuracy on birth and 92.6% on cost respectively. And since the introduction of BCM model, several extensions have been proposed to improve the original BCM model. And one such extension is the boost DM method, which improved by 2% accuracy uh, using the ensemble of multiple BCNM in several uh, input resolution. However, computing the ensemble have to evaluate the BCN network multiple times, which could be more than 10 times slower. Another extension is a kernel pooling method, which aggregate high order feature with tensor sketching, and it also improves the BCNN by about 2%. <coughs> However, that inver uh, involves inverse Fourier transform, which also lack of support on more than GPU. So it could also scale down the forward computation. And in our model, our improved BCM model, using special normalization, achieved comparable results to those competing methods. And our iterative approximation only had a small overhead in computation time, computational time, so it's much faster. So in conclusion, we propose an improved linear model that use uh, a special normalization and achieve comparable results to the state of our map on several fine-grained data sets with only small additional overhead. We also demonstrate how to approximate mesh square roots uh, efficiently by iterative method and achieve 10 times speed up over uh, the straightforward implementation. And we also demonstrate how to compute the gradient of mesh square root, which can give you the exact gradient computation and it could leads to the higher accuracy in some cases. And thank you for listening, and questions are welcome.